showing you how to achieve this natural and uh, wearable look, I guess, uh, using only mineral makeup. I will be using brands such as Bare Minerals and Glow Minerals, which are some of my favorite brands to use. Um, so yeah, if you want to see how I made this look, just keep watching. So I will be starting with a Bare Minerals Get Started Complexion Kit. It's a um, seven piece set um, with, uh, it's got um, a, wait, it's the original uh, foundation and a matte foundation uh, from the Bare Minerals collection. And then there's um, an all over face color that's called Warmth and a mineral veil which is a finishing powder and then there's a um, primer and a brush so i will be starting with priming my face and this is the original uh, primer and i just put a bit on my hand and then i go from there Now I have my primer on, so then I can go to the foundation and I will be using the original one um, because I, I want a more dewy finish and uh, more natural because I don't want it to be so powdery so I just kind of uh, take a bit of powder into the container then I swirl my brush around and tap away the excess and then I start applying it in circular motions all over and with this foundation it's when you first apply it, it's a light coverage, uh, but if you want to um, have a full coverage, you can build it up and apply several layers of this foundation and you will achieve a full coverage um, look. But I do not want a full coverage look because I want it to be more natural and uh, yeah, to just look more natural and subtle. And as you can see now, I have a few pimples right here. And then I just take a small brush and I dip it into the matte foundation. So as you can see now, I still have some visible uh, pimples here and I want to cover those up. So I will be taking the matte foundation, the matte, and I will be dipping a small brush into it and then applying it to the red areas that I want to conceal or hide and see they're gone mm, and a bit around my nose because I tend to get a bit red right there and the reason I'm using the matte foundation for this is because it is a more full coverage product so um, it does cover up the pimples a lot better so now to um, achieve a flawless under eye area, I will be first using a uh, skin colored um, concealer and this one is uh, the concealer under, under eye concealer from Glow Minerals and uh, it's in the color natural so it does um, go well with my skin. So I'll be using the lightest one because it's the one that matches my skin the best. Now we'll just be applying it right underneath my eyes. And as you can see now, it's not even visible. It just kind of takes away the dark circles and any imperfections you might have there. And later on, we will be brightening the area so you can uh, achieve a more uh, well, a more well-rested look so you look more awake and uh, ready for the day, I guess. 
So now I have gotten rid of any dark circles I might have there and then I will be brightening this under eye area to uh, so I look more awake and um, well rested. So I will be using the um, Bare Mineral Stroke of Light Eye Brightener and it's in the color Luminous 2 and it's a lot lighter than my skin tone so it will uh, brighten up the under eye area and create more dimension to your face. So I'm just applying it uh, in a triangle shape underneath my eye, kind of dragging it out to my temples and as you can see it's um, a few shades lighter than my skin tone which is the way it should be if I will be brightening my under eye area. Uh, but if you just want to get rid of dark circles, uh, you should be using a concealer that is your um, skin tone or the uh, exact color of your skin. Um, and I will also be using this to kind of brighten up my forehead a bit as, as well. So I will also be making a small triangle shape at the top of my forehead and a bit on my chin. And a bit around, you know, because it gets darker right there then I will just be using a beauty blender to um, to uh, kind of just blend it in so there uh, and now I will be using the Mineral Veil from Bare Minerals um, to set my under eyes and the concealer so it does increase and it doesn't move during the day. So I will be using that one to set it with. And I will do the same thing as I did with the, uh, with the uh, foundation. I just uh, kind of just let some of the product into the, into the um, lid and then I take a brush. This is the uh, Flawless Face Brush from uh, Bare Minerals. You just kind of tap it into it and tap away the excess powder and uh, apply it right underneath my eyes. So now I will be um, adding some warmth to my face and I will be using the all over face color from Bare Minerals in the color warmth and this also came in the um, Get Started Complexion Kit. Um, so I will be using that with the same flawless face brush from Bare Minerals and I will be doing the exact same thing as I did with the other powders. I just um, pour some of the product into the lid and swirl my brush around. And then I tap away and then I add a bit to my cheeks or cheekbones. And I'm just first I just apply a line and then I just kind of go circular around where I applied it to blend it out. And then I also apply some in my hairline. And this will also create a bit of dimension to your face because it's kind of like contouring. Um, so it's not just one shade uh, on your face. It kind of creates dimension with all the different shades of color. Like I did lighter here and darker on the outside so it kind of creates a dimension to your face. So now that we're done with the face makeup I will be heading over to brows and I am using the uh, brow kit from Bare Minerals. It looks like this inside. These shades I think would work for everyone because you can kind of mix them up and uh, this one might be for blonde and this one fits me the best and uh, yeah and there's also a wax there 
and a highlighter there. Okay, so let's get started. I will um, be starting actually with the wax. I'm just gonna apply it all over my brow. And this will make the hairs lie down. Well, the hairs on my brows lay, lie down and uh, so they, move, they don't move around during the day and it will make it a lot easier for me to apply the color later. So now that I have applied the wax, I will be starting with the uh, shades and I will be using first the darkest one right there, no, there. And I will be starting at the end because I don't want uh, the front of uh, my brow to be too dark so I will be getting lighter towards the um, uh, front but I want it to be pretty dark at the back. And now I will be making a line underneath my whole brow with the dark color. And now I'm taking the spoolie and I'm just brushing um, through the dark color to make it blend more nicely into the front. Um, then I'm taking the uh, lighter color right there and I will be using it at the front of my brow. And I'm just kind of making uh, hair like strokes upward. Just like tiny ones. I'm just really light handed at this part. And then I just kind of brush it uh, towards where I apply the darker color. And then I will be brushing through the whole thing. So now uh, you can use the highlighter color if you want to. I just kind of wiped away all of the um, brow product that I had on the brush and I'm just um, uh, putting some of that highlighter shade on the brush and I'm just now will be applying it underneath my brow bone. Just kind of highlight it and also clean it up. Now we'll also be doing it on the top. And then I'm just gonna do the exact same thing on my other brow. So now I have my brows all done and I think we will be moving on to eyes. And I have this really nice uh, quad, well, trio I guess from um, Glow Minerals. It's the eyeshadow trio in the uh, color coffee and it's got three really nice colors that are really natural and um, it will be perfect for this look. So yeah, let's get started with that. First of all, I will be applying the uh, matte light eyeshadow, the top one. And I will be applying this all over my lid to kind of prime my eyelid. And um, um, it will just be a perfect base color for um, the other eyeshadows that we will be applying. So I just... So now I will be applying the darker color. Um, I will be applying this in my crease and um, I will be blending it out after that. But I will of course show you. So I just kind of make a line first right in my crease. And I go darker, a bit darker towards the center and then I just kind of fill in uh, that space there. And it won't look 
this stupid once you blend it out, I promise. Okay, so now I will be taking a blending brush and I will be swirling my brush in circular motions to blend everything out. And there you have a subtle brown um, eyeshadow on. But I will be darkening it in um, my crease a bit more. So I will just be applying, tapping on some eyeshadow right um, at the uh, outer part of my crease. As you can see in uh, like a half circle right there. And I will be blending it in. And that's it. Um, and I will also be doing the exact same thing on the other side. Now that I have the darker eyeshadow on, I will be using the shimmery um, champagne color right there. And I will be using it in the inner part of my eye. Kind of just tap it in my tear dot and uh, towards the darker um, part of the eye. So now that I have my eyeshadow on, I will be using a eyeliner. Um, this one is from Bare Minerals as well. It's the Lasting Line. It's a long wearing eyeliner in the color Absolute Black. Um, so I will just be applying this uh, just right on top of my lash line. And I won't be, um, I will start at the middle of my eye and drag it out. I won't be touching this part because I want my eyes to, to look natural and I don't want to darken them up even more. So I will be only applying eyeliner at the outer part of my eye. So there, I didn't do any um, hard lines uh, of eyeliner, I just kind of kept it simple and just right on top of my uh, lash line. Now I will be going back in with the uh, darker shade right here and I will be putting it uh, right underneath my uh, lash line right here and um, I will tap just a bit in the dark eyeshadow and then I will just blow it away because I don't want it to be too intense and I just apply it right at the outer corner. And I will also be applying this uh, shimmery champagne color in my waterline um, to just kind of open my um, eyes even more and since this uh, champagne color was so uh, nice and shimmery I can also use it as a highlighter so I will be applying this on the bridge on my nose and also on my cupid's bow and I just do that with my fingers I will actually also apply it on the tops of my cheeks. And the thing is, so yeah, we're done with eyeshadow and um, and almost done with eyes. 
Um, now I will actually be using a uh, lash thickener and conditioner from Glow Minerals before I apply my mascara. And this is just kind of a white mascara which just will make my lashes a lot thicker. And I just apply it as I would with a regular mascara. And then I will be applying my absolute favorite mascara. It's the Lash Domination Mascara from Bare Minerals. And it is just a really wonderful mascara and it's definitely my favorite at the moment. There, um, so that was actually it for the eyes. So now I have a blush that I will be applying. It's also from Bare Minerals. It's in the color Vintage Peach, and it's just a really nice blush. And as you know, I will be also doing the same thing with the blush. I will just be cutting some product into the lid, and I will be swirling my brush around in that. For the lips, I will be using first a um, lip liner from Bare Minerals. It's the Marvelous Moxie Lip Liner. It's in the color Exhilarated. And it's a really nice natural pink color. And I will just be applying it around uh, my lips. So now I will be applying the Marvelous Moxie uh, Lip Stick from Bare Minerals as well. It's in the color Speak Your Mind and it's really nice pink color, um, just a really natural pink tone. And, uh, So yeah, that was actually it for this look and I really hope you enjoyed watching this uh, natural and uh, uh, wearable look, I guess. Um, I did only use mineral makeup as you probably saw and um, mineral makeup is one of my favorite uh, makeups and also uh, Bare Minerals and Glow Minerals are one of my favorite makeup brands. Uh, I have been using Bare Minerals for years and um, the uh, original foundation which I also used for uh, my face today. Uh, I have been using it for years as well and I just love how my skin feels when I use it. It just feels like it's allowed to breathe and it just hardly feels like I have any makeup on and I just love that feeling because I think uh, when you wear makeup you shouldn't be feeling um, you shouldn't be feeling like you have a ton of makeup on. You shouldn't be feeling cakey and I think you should be feeling natural and uh, still comfortable and uh, I think that um, uh, mineral makeup does that for me and uh, I love to wear it to work and to school um, it's just a really comfortable makeup to wear I guess <laughs> uh, but yeah I just really hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope you uh, try out some of these brands because they are really wonderful and uh, yeah I just recommend it to everyone um, and if you do want to recreate this look, you can do it with um, the uh, mineral makeup that I showed you. So yeah, bye!